Hi, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. Today we're going to be exploring the Earth Cave, and uh, the first path I want to take is the one right straight up. So, uh, just straightforward path to the room, so just go there. Yeah, you're going to run into a lot of old enemies here, so, um, yeah, I'm going to skip most of the battles, but, um, you know, if I run into a new one, I'll show you. So, let's keep going. Okay, now this chest is guarded by an enemy from the right. Uh, if you want to open it safely, open it from the bottom. But uh, I'm going to fight the guy to uh, show you what it is and uh, to get the experience, which I think is worthwhile. As you can see, an enemy simply called Earth. Um, weak to fire, has almost 300 HP. Um, not really uh, cha too challenging. I mean, if, if he hits um, someone other than your fighter or red mage, you, know, you might be in a little bit of hurt there, but um, I don't think it's too much to worry about. Good experience. Okay, and this chest contains 1975 gold, so um, that's it for this part. Um, I'm going to uh, meet you back at the entrance where you should use some tents or cabins to uh, restore your HP and save, so I'll meet you back there. Okay, and we're back, so um, let's uh, take the right path and then down. Yeah, that's one thing I almost forgot to mention. Uh, if you, you can run into very large groups of poisonous enemies, like seven or eight of them sometimes, like of asps or arachnids. Uh, if you run into that large of a group, don't be afraid to use uh, Ice 2 with your, your red or black mage, because you're really not going to need those level 4 spell charges for fast. So um, we're just going to continue on here then. We got a fork in the road. We're going to take the right path first. Okay, now these two chests here, they're uh, guarded by an earth, uh, one step to my left, but the if you go the other way around, you can open them safely. So, But I want to fight them, so I'm going to fight him, and I'll be right back. Okay, so these two chests contain a pure potion and some gold. So now we're going to take the other path from the fork. Okay, now these two chests, um, if I take one step up, I'll run into another earth. Um, the, uh, but you can open it safely from the right if you cho choose to avoid it. Uh, but I'm going to fight it and then open up the two chests. Um, by the way, make sure uh, you use a heal potion before opening them because uh, one of them contains a heal potion. And uh, unlike your weapon or armor slots, uh, the game won't tell you that you have 99 and you can't carry anymore. So um, got to be careful with that. So um, I'll be right back. Okay, well now I'm going to use that heal potion. And we get another one. And some gold. Okay, well that's all the treasure for this floor. So um, I'm going to meet you back at the entrance once again. And uh, make sure to use however many cabins, tents you need to restore your HP to maximum. Because this time we're going to go to the end. Or, well, as far as we can go. So I'll uh, see you soon. Okay, so this time we're just going to take the path straight to the right, to the steps, to the next floor. By the way, uh, don't be afraid to use your healing spells if you need to now, because we're not going to be heading back to the entrance for quite a while. So, let's just keep going here. It's a little bit of a maze, but we'll make it. Here's a new enemy, some bulls, uh, not terribly challenging, just, um, you know, vanilla enemies, no spells or special attacks, just uh, somewhere in the mid-hundreds in HP. Can't believe we didn't kill one of those guys. Uh, We'll get him. We're gonna be want to be heading to the right soon, so. We got him. Decent experience in gold.
there's the room we're looking for. No monsters guard in these chests, so just open them however you like. Got a coral sword that's as good as a dragon sword, but I just like the dragon sword because it sounds cooler. Okay, this chest contains a cabin and 330 gold, so um, let's keep going now. Okay, now the path below to the right will take you to the next floor, but there's still some more treasure we want to get, so we're going to take the path below to the left there. Damn bats. See, they just talk. They don't do anything. They're just getting your way. There we go. Okay, now this room has three chests, as you can see. Uh, they're not guarded directly by them, but if you take one step into the room, you'll run into an Earth. So uh, I'm going to fight him and uh, show you what's in the chest afterwards. Okay, so we get some gold, a useless shield, and a lot of gold. So um, now, obviously, I'm going to have to fight that Earth again on the way out, so um, I'll do that and meet you outside the room. Okay, and we're out. We're going to take that other path to the steps to the next floor. Okay, well, I think this is a good place to stop and uh, give you a fair warning of what's to come. Uh, this is probably the first point in the game where your party has a, a real chance of being wiped out. Um, first, there's, uh, you can run into a large group of uh, a combination of up to nine ghouls and geists, uh, both of which can easily stun you with their physical attacks. Uh, I wouldn't be afraid to cast both Fire 2 and Harm 2 in the same round, as one of the two mages is likely to be stunned there. Uh, if they stun your entire party, then you can't do anything, and it's po quite possible to get wiped out by them. Uh, there's also a battle with the first enemy that can get you stoned, cockatrices. Uh, they're fairly uncommon, which is why I have so few soft potions, but uh, they can be very dangerous if they ambush you. I mean, one time, three of my party members got stoned before I even entered a command. I mean, I was so screwed, I wish I was stoned that day. Um, note that stoned party members are considered dead. So if you get stoned and you care about keeping everyone's experience the same, then you just better run from them. Just say no to birds. They'll get you stoned. Anyway, uh, well that's all I have time for today, so uh, join us next time for more adventure and bats that get in our way. That's all for today's episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.